I taught school for 20 years in the inner city. So don't even think about messing with me. Y'all feel me? Welcome back friends, this is Salman Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. So one of the things that I've been noticing is that more and more companies are coming up with ways to animate photos. Take like some of these photos, uh, these are generated with a mid journey, but the ability to add e emotions and facial expressions and you name it, like when a character is given like something to say, right? And these companies have struggled. You know, a lot of companies have struggled in capturing the emotion of it. Now, take a look at what I've just discovered today. This is from Hagen. Take a look at this. I taught school for 20 years in the inner city. So don't even think about messing with me. Y'all feel me? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take a roll here. Jay Quellen. Where's Jay Quellen at? No Jay Quellen here? I taught school for 20 years in the inner city. So don't even think about messing with me. Y'all feel me? Isn't that incredible? Right? Because they took this the photo of a, like just a still photo, similar to what I just, I've just shown you. Similar to any of these, you know, generated with a mid journey. And then they were able to apply facial animation and emotion. That's the key thing here. It's adding emotion to this photo to bring life and using a source footage on the right hand side as the driving factor. But being able to capture that emotion, right? The ability to take audio because the they way it's set up. Uh, let me see if I can actually find it here. So this is Hagen. Many of you are familiar with Hagen, but they've added a new component to it called uh, Expressive Photo Avatar, right? And that is one of the, the modules that they provide here. You can see streaming avatar, personalized video, app, app start, you, you name it. They even have a chat GPT plugin, but this is a new one that just came out. And so I decided to try it. I put in one of the images here and there's a lot of interest. As you can see over here, um, like 4,917 people are waiting in line. <laughs> and I'm 4,918. So I'm still waiting. It was actually 27 a uh, few like uh, minutes ago. But you can see the interest, right? So more and more people are curious about how to bring their photos to life, to add emotion to it, right? Think of the applications here. Being able to create like different digital actors, you know, with Mid Journey or with any other generative AI platform. And then being able to apply facial animation in emotion, just like you see here. You know, just, I mean, pay attention to the movement of the cheeks, the eyes. Take a look. Let's watch this again. I taught school for 20 years in the inner city. So don't even think about messing with me. You see that? Like, that is incredible how the character is able to, like, pass them, their lips and the beard comes together all from this photo here. So I think more as more and more, you know, companies harness these technologies, I think movie making is going to change. You know, like maybe coming to a point where maybe you just need a photo of the actor. And the the danger here is not needing actors at all, just having to create your own digital actors right so someone like that and then finding a female voice applying to the you know uploading it to hagen you know for this this platform or any other platform and be able to generate something like this so this is bliss blew my mind and i've watched again and again to see the different emotions because you have to understand how like the physiology of a body works in terms for the system to see how to add like those like smile lines you know frowning and the squinting of the eyes let's take a roll here jay quellen and you notice that even though this is taking the uh the footage on the right hand side as the source he's the the head is able to nod in affirmative right to take like a break here and that is amazing. <laughs> Let me see if I can mute the audio and just play it back. You see how like, like the different nuances that are so difficult to capture, even when you're creating like 3D animation, those things are not easy to replicate. <laughs> this is incredible. And I mean, this is the, the writing is on the wall. Like as more and more 
companies harness and improve on these models and making it easier and easier to tell stories this way, I think the landscape of storytelling is going to change, right? It's going to be incredible to see. Now, the challenge, of course, is the teeth because that's where the AI seems to struggle the most. I mean, it does a good job overall on the outside, like the face and the hair and the ear. Of course, there are some issues with the edges and maybe that will be fixed in uh, later versions. And even here on the shirt below, right? You see where the hands are trying to move? He's actually, the emotion comes through because when we are talking as humans, we just we don't just use the face. We It's like a full body experience. Of course, there are those who have the ability to act or be taciturn, have like a poker face or something like that. But this is amazing that it's able to take the audio and then add emotion to the photo like that. So uh, um, it's amazing. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. You know, I'm, put, uh, I'm looking forward to hearing what your comments and where you see this trajectory headed. Would you use this kind of technology to tell a story? Do you think it's convincing? Uh, what are the dangers that you see? Uh, for me, I'm thinking like, what are we going to be able to do in 10 years from now? Like, it's incredible you know, to have expressive photo avatars. It, the, the next challenge, of course, is going to be to th do like a 360 degree, which is what Sora has done and some other platforms. But it's amazing where this is headed. Anyway, thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. I just wanted to point out that there's this new platform from Heijin called Expressive Photo Avatars that they have re they have no they've released, but the line is long. <laughs> you have to stay, stand in line for a very long time. It reminds me of when people are waiting for iPhones when they are releasing iPhones on a day. But uh, it's incredible. Let's play. Let me turn on the audio so we can hear it one more time, and then I'll say bye for now. So. I taught school for 20 years in the inner city, so don't even think about messing with me. Y'all feel me? Mm -hmm. OK, let's take a roll here. Jay Quellen. Don't even think about messing with me, <laughs> Jay Quellen. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me today. Please stay safe. As always, dare to dream big. Never give up on your dreams. And as always, do something little every single day to bring bring your vision to life. I highly encourage you to continue to create and create original IP is my encouragement to you. Stay blessed and continue to pray for you. Bye for now.